Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Past Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy, today on Amazon. So we have been covering how the Western media has been covering this Russia and Ukraine um, war, this white on white crime that we are seeing, this white on white violence uh, that we are seeing. And you know our position here based on how Africans are treated, I am not saying no prayer for Ukraine at all. But the Western media has been very, very racist and a lot of Arabs and Africans now have been crying holy foul. They say, because they said, listen how blatant they are with their racism. Now the last stream, I showed you just two clips. I got three more clips for y'all to see. Let's go ahead and roll that. The population, as you're talking to us, Matthew, we're playing in the latest pictures of some of the refugees trying to get on trains or trying to get out of Ukraine. And, and what's compelling is just looking at them, the way they're dressed. These are prosperous, I'm loath to use the expression, these are prosperous middle-class people. These are not obviously refugees trying to get away from areas in the Middle East that are still in a big state of war. These are not people trying to get away from areas in North Africa. They look like any European family that you would live next door to. Now the unthinkable has happened to them. And this is not a developing third world nation. This is Europe. Yeah, well, just to put it bluntly, these are not refugees from Syria. These are refugees from uh, neighboring Ukraine. I mean, that, quite frankly, is part of it. These are um, Christians, they're white, they're, um, they're very similar to people, I mean, people who live in... I mean, did you hear the terminology? They're not refugees. They're white. They're Christian. They're middle class. They are successful. The other woman, this is not some third world country. This is Europe. I mean, I mean, it's so it's funny to me. Like it's funny because I know how these people are. I've been telling y'all this and some of y'all say, man, it feels sometimes, you know, it ain't sometimes nothing. These people have been this way. So if you are not them, they look down on you. You're less than them. Remember the other dude talking about this? This is, you know, this, this is civilized country. This is mostly European. They believe they're civilized, and Africans and Arabs, for the most part, that's who they've been dropping bombs on, is Africans and Arabs. Um, we are both the savages, Africans and Arabs. And um, this is supposed to be going on in the Middle East, and this is supposed to be going on in, in, in North Africa. That's where it's supposed to be. But they the one that caused all that. It wasn't just the Arabs on their own. It wasn't Africans on their own. That caused anything. But these people that work for these networks, they, I mean, they can't help themselves. They can't help it because, see, they don't care to watch videos of Arabs or black people suffering, dying, etc. Being refugees, they don't care. But now they see their own. Now they see their children on the TV screen. They seeing their children suffering. They seeing their people in a war torn land and always hurting their heart. Like the other ones say, Oh my God, it's this blonde hair and, and blue eyed Europeans. I, like I said, thank God. Actually, thank God all this is going on because some of y'all would have never knew how these people really think about y'all. Even in that media, I told you the westernized media is the mouthpiece of white supremacy. It's global white supremacy. It's not just talking about America. It's the whole Western world of white supremacists. Because some of y'all say, well, you know, hey, America's really racist, but, you know, I come over here. They don't treat us like that. Yeah, they will. They, they are the same. They speak different languages. They kin to each other, and they both believe in white supremacy. 
You are seeing a white supremacist tribal beef right now. And every time they have a tribal beef, it usually turns into world war. And they know that they know cause they can't help themselves. I told y'all remove us out of the, out of the equation. They're going to fight each other and destroy each other. It's the same thing here. If you took black folk out of the equation here, they would do the same thing right here. If that's been their history. If you have studied European history, they've always fought each other like that. But yeah, they blatant about their racism. And that's good. That is real good. And then you got the, the president of Zanzibar got 1,000 Ukrainians, go give them free hotels and free food and lay them up while they talking that way about Africans. Whew, we got a long way to go. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it, it don't supposed to happen to them because they're Europeans. Well, let me tell y'all something over there in that, that Western media. You're not good. You're no longer removed from suffering. You suffered a lot during the virus. Oh yes, you have. Yes, you have. The virus really rocked y'all. Now this is going on and it's not going to stop because for a long time, y'all have been the cause of suffering in Africa. Y'all have been the cause of suffering in Latin America. Y'all have been the cause of suffering in the Middle East. You think it's not gonna go full circle and hit back to you eventually? You really thought that? And these are problems of y'all own creating anyway, cause black folks ain't got nothing to do with your problems. We don't. So like I said, it ain't our problem, but I will definitely, want to point this out about how blatant they are with their racism. But let me know in the comments, ladies and gentlemen, what you think about this, this blatant racism that you've seen from this Western media, you know, all over the world. Like, that's amazing. I still think about that lady. This is not a third world country. This is Europe. Well, now you the third world country now.